So creating a 10 minute website. Um, I'm just gonna close some of these because uh, we'll come back to these in a minute. Uh, what you need is Quark Express 2022, a web browser such as Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. And that, that is enough to build and test your website. But if you want to uh, host it and actually have it online, you need web hosting, you need a domain name. For example, uh, I've created quark.martinturner.org.uk for this tutorial. That's just a subdomain on an existing website. And you need an FTP uploader, or best, or there will be a file manager with your hosting package, but it's uh, less useful. So I'll just show you that. This is an FTP uploader. Um, it just allows me to drag files from my uh, computer onto uh, a website. Um, so uh, we'll come back to that in a minute, but let's, let's go straight to the chase. So new project, digital, not print, flex, not fixed. Now fixed actually can give you a better result uh, if you're willing to put the hours in, but for working quickly and for instant compatibility, flex is the way to go. The rest of these you can leave as they are. Even though the grid is 1280 pixels and the maximum width is 1920 pixels, which is full HD, it doesn't matter and we'll see why not in a moment. So let's do OK. Or let's have four pages and I'll explain why in a minute. So that creates and you can see I've got the flex page builder uh, open here. And we're, we're gonna open some more in a minute, but uh, let's start with this. Now, um, for the 10 minute website, we're gonna be using templates. Now you might say, these templates don't look like anything I want. They're all very fussy and, and not on brand. That's okay. Let's just drag this one onto the, uh, onto the file. But first I want to show you what it looks like on uh, different devices. So the same template is gonna appear differently uh, on different devices depending on uh, the size of that device. And that's what Flex is all about. Flex is a way to make your design automatically conform to the device you're using it on. But we'll come back now to this one. I'm gonna go for one that you might think, well, that's really fussy, I don't want that one. Actually, it's really easy to use. So um, here it is. Now, uh, I'm gonna close that for a second. Just, just come back to uh, two things. I'm gonna go to Style Sheets, and I'm going to come to uh, the Quark stock photography because I want something uh, to change, uh, replace that pizza image with. And although you don't have to do this in this order, I think it actually is really helpful to change the image first because that is staring you in the face. And in fact, uh, the thing which makes the biggest difference to uh, any kind of template is what image you're using. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a website for um, uh, a band's album. And the band is called Oxygen Sky. Um, uh, and uh, the album is going to be called As Seen From Mars. Um, now, in a minute, we're just going to conform these fonts to what we want. But before we do that, let's go to Page Layout. And uh, we're going to specify our pages. So I'm going to right click uh, or control click on a Mac page properties. Now, the first page must be called index.html. That is part of the web. And if you don't do that, it won't work. But the page title will be home usually. So page name, index.html, you can see that there. But the page title can be anything you want, but usually it's home. Um, or you can call it uh, by the name of the website, uh, Oxygen Sky. Uh, and then it's as seen from Mars. You can have any punctuation you like in the page title, but uh, for the page name, uh, just keep it to uh, letters and numbers and dashes. Okay. Now, um, the next one I want to do, I'm going to so say this is going to be a, a page called um, band uh, and about oxygen sky. 
And again, right click or control click uh, for page three, which will be the album uh, as seen from Mars. Uh, and the uh, final one is gonna be contact. Uh, don't use capital letters if you can avoid it. Uh, it won't stop it working, but it's, it's deprecated. So contact us. Uh, okay, and I'm just going to go to those pages and I'm going to do a different template. So I won't populate these fully because I don't want to show you everything several times. Uh, but uh, to, to do this, I've, I've actually got some, uh, a palette set which I've created called Flex, uh, which will bring up all the palettes I need for Flex editing. So here they are. And you can see you've got the Flex Objects browser. We're going to look at that in a minute. Flex layout blocks, we're not going to do this this week, um, we're going to do this next time. But for my, my second page, I, I maybe want something uh, a little bit more informative. And so I'm going to go with this one. Uh, and then uh, for the third page, come back to my, my page uh, layout again, which I removed when I did my flex uh, palettes. Uh, again, uh, something else. Um, I might want to have that. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, I might want to have this. Now, they all look different from each other, but they will not in a moment. So let's come back to index and see where we are. Now, I'm going to go to style sheets. And uh, what's crucial here is, is that Quark's already prepared the style sheets for you in a way you've only got to change three of them. So if I come down to uh, body and I'm going to just edit that, um, you'll see that it's based on no style. Uh, it's got a font I don't I don't want monster out of no idea what that is I didn't I didn't buy that I'm gonna have Leto that's what I use uh, I'm gonna have Leto medium uh, and if I now look at body small then you'll see it's already conformed itself to that same font because it, it is based on body and these starred ones are the ones that are, things are based on so same for H1 uh, H1 DM serif text haven't got a clue what that is uh, I'm going to go to uh, Roboto slab uh, and I'm going to go to Roboto slab regular uh, because I've used it frequently it's at the top of the font menu uh, that's just a feature of Quark Express so okay and now H4 uh, and again Oswald not a clue but this time we're going to go for uh, Roboto slab and actually we'll go for Leto uh, light and there we are and you'll see that suddenly everything has started changing now this here was bespoke text so I'm going to change that to a font of my choice let's come down here and not Alex brush looks like it, it might be anything but what about righteous regular I, I've no idea where I got that from but here it is uh, and uh, there we are now over here we've got a button and I, want it, I don't want to have it book now, I want to have it order now. But you see that if you try to type on that, it doesn't really work. Now, why is this? Because Flex works in a fundamentally different way from, uh, from print. And although it looks like it's gonna be like print, uh, and it's much easier to make it like print, it isn't the same thing. So what I've got here is custom HTML. I, I wanna get rid of that. I'm just gonna delete that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to control click or right click, delete, and now come back to this text box, which I can now just edit uh, directly. Now, what that's also done is it means that it no longer has a rollover on it, which isn't going to look as great. Oh, well, let's also change this uh, background image. We don't want anything to do with pizzas. So we're just going to paste that in there. You can... Uh, you can do anything with these boxes and you can create other boxes as well but we won't do that right now um, because we're just working to the template so let's go to home uh, we want to have that as a hyperlink to to itself in fact uh, so on hyperlinks over here uh, I'm gonna press plus and the type is page uh, let's type home and page uh, index um, and then uh, I'm going to create another one um, uh, for the want features. I want um, band, uh, and in this case, we're going to do type page band. Okay, uh, give that a title, and 
the same thing uh, album uh, plus type page uh, album and again uh, link that to that page and finally contact 90% of people on websites are looking for contact details uh, and I'll call that contact and we'll do page and we will um, uh, do contact now I can go through and conform all those other pages uh, to uh, to what I need uh, but actually you'll see that the fonts have already been conformed it's just a question of putting in the graphics I want and changing the colors we're not gonna do that right now because uh, we'll just be reduplicating what we've done but I want to do one more thing and that's because um, I've, I've remember I, I took away the HTML action from this I just want to turn this into a, a button again so button and hover state I want the background color now to be black RGB and the foreground color will be this uh, pink color we can change it afterwards and then the action is going to be go to page not go to URL but go to page leave article ID from web portal and we're going to put that to page three uh, so uh, that's it uh, let's just test that one page of HTML page preview it's at the bottom of the screen here and uh, we'll go to Safari and uh, there we are and that page has now appeared look this this changes now if I'm going to click on these because it's a one page preview it's just going to go back to itself because it's only got one page to look at so um, we could preview that by doing the whole layout so uh, come back here and we'll do preview uh, layout preview or project let's do layout preview uh, this is going to preview it as an HTML5 publication which is not quite the same but it'll work just as well um, and uh, now if I do that it goes to that that page uh, with the album on it uh, which again we didn't do that so uh, a couple more things uh, layout metadata you want to type in your metadata here uh, oxygen sky uh, as seen from Mars and the more of this you fill in like with the keywords uh, album uh, music those will go into the what they call SEO uh, um, which means how Google is going to find it so it's important to fill that in so that's really important so I'm, I'm just now going to export this so export a, not an HTML5 publication but it's HTML5 and I'm going to put this into uh, this um, page now it's it's offering to collect fonts the answer has got to be yes otherwise it won't work but I need to make sure that the fonts I'm using are ones I'm either licensed to use or are free to use. Now, I'm actually using Google fonts for this. It's not a problem. But uh, check your license agreement. Press OK. And that's now going to export those. And I'm going to go to the Finder now. And look, here they are. They've appeared in the directory I specified. And I'm going to just go to, to CyberDoc. You can see I, I did this before. I, I did a tryout. And uh, I'm just going to drag these across to here. Um, and it will show me transferring oh I, it wants to replace them I do want to replace them um, and it'll show those transferring and now if we go to quark uh, dot Martin Turner uh, already used it before um, then here's that website and uh, if I go to band it's going to that page because we didn't do any work on that page uh, I can go to album uh, or I can do order now see how it, it, it just uh, changes color there and it'll go again to that thing you can also have uh, the page go to a, a, a lower point on the page like I see a typo on that, that um, template uh, if you want an all one page website and those are quite popular these days so using just the templates in just about 10 minutes uh, we've been able to construct a very simple website we didn't conform all the parts we didn't put the text in uh, but then I was talking a lot and it would have been a lot quicker if I wasn't talking we did explore a little bit uh, the containers and we're gonna look at that in much more depth next week but this is a really important learning point is that 
Flex works by putting things inside other things. In fact, all of HTML does if you do it properly. And if you just put things next to each other, then it will work uh, on some devices, but not on others. Uh, this is great for websites. If you try to make an email mailer this way, you need to test it a lot because email HTML is not the same as regular HTML.